just gonna go get us some gas at the come and go. And then we got our truck bed loaded down. Why don't we load? Sir. He said, yes sir. We got our truck loaded down with a bunch of junk. We're headed to Deer Woods. We're going for a couple of days. Get a break from the city. Me and Matt. Matt's all uh, stuffy and sick feeling and my back went out on me, but we're gonna make the best of it. Where's Luke? There he is. <laughs> we're just getting some gas up here to come good and then we're gonna go to Walmart and uh, hey, do a favorite deal with that. Tilt it this bit, not turn it sideways. Your mama's calling. Go ahead and stop the video. It's open in the morning. Uh, get out here to the woods yesterday. My truck started leaking water. Had a hose bust. And so uh, we had some people drive by at this campsite here that actually let us come stay with their camp with them. We set up our tent and uh, they were nice enough to help us, uh, guide us out here and uh, you know, have a little spot where we could set up tent. Wasn't uh, wasn't plan A, but sometimes the Lord has different plans. And uh, this truck over here, that's uh, Brother Lloyd, pastor over at uh, Plainview, come out here last night after he got done uh, coaching basketball. And uh, I drove him back to his house. He let me borrow his truck today so we can get to the deer woods and then get to town and buy a part for this truck and I can work on it. There's Matt Matt, sleep. Mm -hmm. All cozy, here's Luke, rubbing his eyes. There's where I slept. It's a cozy little camp. Well, it says eight person. Uh, well, it fits three, three for sure. Uh, when these people say eight people, I think it's eight children sleeping on the floor. Shoulder to shoulder, toes to toes, nose to nose. <laughs>
All right, so that man just got his first deer. Fist bump. We watched it go down. How'd it feel, Matt? It felt good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he leaned his gun right out the blind. Shoot. Shot. We saw it come out here. She limped around for a little bit, spun around, and she wound up dropping. Uh, we got out here early this morning. It's real foggy. Just about the same place Matt or Luke got his first deer. We're sitting in the same spot. Deer were bedded down right here. And we're sitting here laughing, joking, talking. And about that time, I look up and there's there's like twelve deer stand up. They just and they're all looking at us and then they go to eat and they don't they don't look at us no more and they're just like, huh, oh, guess it's nothing. And then Lo and behold, Matthew gets on one deer and I tell him to take the shot when you're ready. And it was a good shot. What you think, Luke? I am. I'm excited. That was cool. I'm glad. I'm glad you came out. Yeah. So that was awesome. So we're going to go out here and see if we can find this deer. Y'all ready? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> So I got about what 29 degrees this morning. It was a little colder than that last night because I know the sun was coming up. And I think about seven o'clock is when it's 29. It was cold. Check out the frost on the side of our tent. Kids were singing Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> Y'all sleep pretty warm though, boys? Yes, sir. Yep, we uh, got a little uh, propane heater in there that was keeping us warm until it burned out a couple of times. And then uh, Lloyd brought no pillows or blankets <laughs> and uh, he woke me up probably about two in the morning shivering. And uh, he was uh, <laughs> shivering and coughing and stuff. So told him where the other propane bottle was he went in there and got it i gave him one of my blankets because i was starting to sweat sweat a little bit so he uh he covered up and uh he got he eventually got warm uh and then about seven o'clock we knew that deer wouldn't be moving early this morning because moon was just bright this morning uh, or last night it was just it was so bright that you could see you could stand here and see everything out here uh, you know, we, we get here yesterday afternoon and, uh, there's deer hunters everywhere. Uh, you wouldn't think anybody would drive right up on your campsite and just start hunting right here. But lo and behold, uh, there was a guy out here in a kayak who was, uh, kayaking, uh, people just drive all the way around. So, uh, we don't know, you know, if, if there's anybody back, we just heard gunshots a minute ago. And it's probably about nine o'clock. It's about when we figured deer start moving. Uh, but we got other deer hunters and duck hunters or whatever else is out here. Campers, uh, kayakers, hikers, things like that that we got to compete with as well. So Lloyd just left. He went to his uh, spot up here. He's going where we seen some deer action the other day, some rubs and whatnot. And then the boys are going to go set up in the blind where Matt, Matt, and Luke got their deers. Uh, both of them. Looks pretty warm. 
kind of, but not my face. So. Where's your big coat? I don't need it. Don't need it. And so it's going to get warmer as the day goes by. We're going to hopefully uh, start to see the deer start moving here in just a little bit. Uh, that's where we are. We're at deer camp. It's the third time we've had to reset up this blue tarp. Uh, hopefully this stands a little bit better than the previous two. Uh, we brought a little stainless steel. I'll take you over here and let you see this. Here, I'll flip this around. Brought a little stainless steel table to put the cooker and dishes and whatnot. We still got the sink, homemade sink. Gotta wash the dishes when we get back. Got a fire cooker over here and a propane cooker. A little dining table, uh, card playing table, whatever we want. We gotta repair this later on. It's our gun rack. It was actually a guitar rack that I made to a gun rack. Deer cooler for when we get a deer. Meat cooler for well, I guess we can keep anything cold by leaving it outside. Uh, some tiki torches. <clears throat> We've got the uh, deer cooler for when we get a deer. Right here, got some extra wood. Probably should have brought more than that because uh, we were burning our last bit of it. Uh, and then the tents. Big furry hat. Everybody needs one of those. So we're going to see if we can get on top of a deer. See if we can, uh, now that everybody's got a deer out their system, everybody's got at least one. We're going to try to go out and see if we can find a buck. So wish us luck. So here's tater, onions, and sausage. Pretty good look. Huh? It is delicious. <laughs> Matt, inside the tent being goofy. <laughs> We heard a shot probably 30 minutes ago, was it? Yeah. About 30 minutes ago, I'd say. Could be Lloyd. Uh, he may have got him a big old deer. And we made him a bowl over there. We wrapped up in tin foil. Got it sitting over there by the fire, and we keeping it warm. Uh, we're going to wait for a little bit and see if he comes pulling back up. If he don't, I guess we're going to go try to find Lloyd. See if he's got him a deer, right? Cause it's uh it's a little after twelve now, so all right. Looks like Lloyd's walking back. Just fixing to go find him. The boys down there fishing. I'll walk down there and see if he got anything. I heard the shots earlier, so go see. No deer? Oh man. oh man, what was it? No. Well done. Oh man. She come up in on my left side. I sit behind the tree stump and she come in on the left side. And I seen her head pop up. I was like, oh crap. So I was managed to get up on my knee. And I rushed a shot because I knew I had one other one other opportunity because she's kinda going downhill. I had one other opportunity to take a shot and I, I rushed it and I'm pretty I'm about hundred percent sure I missed. Well guess what? Did you get one? No. Oh. Somebody stole my blind. I think it was a guy that was down here last night. Oh, no. Because he was lingering around in the water. Yeah. Uh, had his truck parked down there, and that man said he thought he heard something. <clears throat> He's like, man, stole my, stole my deer blind. in the morning We're supposed to be leaving today our tent uh, is wet to the bone I get in here take my boots off at the door I fell asleep in the truck 
and it was cold the night before. And I hear it drizzling outside. So I was like, ah, oh, it rained a little bit. Make it up to the tent. The boys are dead asleep in here. I come up in here and take my boots off in the dark. <laughs> Step in the water as soon as I get in there with my sock feet. Cold water at that. And uh, I look, and every bit of this is wet on the inside of the tent. I don't know if you can see that water dropping right here. It's just steadily, I got a drip right here that's hitting the floor, and it's hitting my rug, and it's going to drip, drip. Well, it's caught. It's full of water. <laughs> my bed. Pull back the blankets. I had hunting gear and stuff on it. I had water all over it. Kids' stuff over here. Water. Good times. So this is the last day of our deer season. Nice and wet. It's uh, cold. It looks out there. Oh, let's see you, baby. Two, three days. This tent is the older tent. It's a 10 person tent. It's the bigger of the two. That's the eight person tent. It's the newer tent. This one on the inside is dry. That one is not. That one's soaking wet to the gills, full of water. If we'd slept in that one, it'd probably been dry. Since we moved everything into there, everything's wet. So, but everything out here stayed pretty dry where the tent was or where the tarp was. We may have even been dry if we'd stayed under there. It's seven o'clock this morning. Whenever it decided to finally blow over, uh, we got a wind out of nowhere. See the clouds. Decided to finish this off. So we are fixing to start packing up. We're going to call it done. Well, got some fire seeds in. We have just cleaned up camp. Looks nothing like it did. Have a good week, boys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm going to get on some sunflower seeds, head home, get a shower, unload all this junk back here, and uh, deer season 2023 is officially over with for us. Pretty good year, a lot of mishaps, but uh, overall, a lot of good memories, wouldn't you say boys? Here we go.